Welcome to episode number 11 of Agency Toolbox. I'm your host, Gray McKenzie. So back in, let's see, episode number seven and number eight, we talked about what file management tool you should use for your agency. And I talked about why for Guava Box, we chose Google Drive over Dropbox. And then in the following episode, number eight, I walked you through the file structure that we have set up inside our Google Drive to manage our clients and our own business at Guava Box. Well, today, for those of you who are HubSpot users, I want to walk through file management inside of HubSpot. So that's what we're going to be diving into here is how to set up the best file management system inside your HubSpot portal. So let's go ahead and I'm going to take you over to the do inbound uh, HubSpot portal into our file manager first. And then we're going to look at what we've put together as the best way to manage your file, uh, your files inside of HubSpot. So here I am inside the do inbound file manager. And you can see that from our home folder, this is our root file, um, root folder file uh, here, you can see the folders that we have. So we've got uh, the free stock photos that comes default in every single HubSpot portal. And then you can see CTA, email, identity, images, offers, resources, scripts, social, social suggested images. And lastly, sadly, we made it on a page two video. What you don't see here is you don't see 50 pages worth of random files with random names that if you've been using PubSpot for a while, you may, uh, you may have in your portals right now or in your client portals. This is something that we ran into with Guava Box, um, where prior to having this file management structure, you'd have files all over the place. And the pain point that we're trying to solve here, there, there are two basic pain points, um, possibly three. The biggest one by far is how quickly can I go in and find the images that I need to find? I don't want to upload a million duplicates. I also don't want to spend five minutes searching around to find a file that I know should be in here, but I have no way of knowing how to find it. And every time I hit search, I can't find it. So that's pain point number one. Number two, we're looking at the user experience. Um, and also, and I'll, I'll throw in here number three, the SEO um, experience as well. So what are, how are your files named? How do they tell users and search engines exactly what's inside of them? So we're gonna walk through a little bit of that here today in the structure that we have. Now I could I can pull you guys down into any of these folders, but Ben Butler from the Do Inbound team and myself worked together on creating this entire system. And he wrote a very in-depth blog post, which I wanna pull you over to. So this is called the structure for an awesomely organized HubSpot file manager. Ben put this together and um, these are, he talks a little bit about the benefits, goes in and shows you exactly what it used to look like for us and then what it now looks like and then talks about the rules. So let's go over a couple of these rules real quickly. I'm going to link to this post so I don't just want to read everything that's in here. Um, I want to let you digest this and have a resource to access for this so you can share this with your team as well and hopefully this is going to inspire you to change the way that you're using HubSpot File Manager right now or improve the process that you currently have. So first of all, we talked about file naming rules. So anything that you are uploading in there, especially images though, for SEO purposes, also for the user experience, here's the best practice. Use lowercase letters, use hyphens, don't use spaces uh, to break stuff up. So instead of having you can see this URL right now is an awesomely organized HubSpot file manager and everything's hyphenated. You don't see what you may see on other sites where you're seeing, uh, had we left a space here and HubSpot didn't treat it the right way, we might see um, the percentage mark, 20 percentage mark, and that is the character for um, for a space in URLs. So that, that obviously looks ugly and it's hard to understand what's going on there. You also aren't just seeing a string here where it's, P equals one, two, three, four, five, or something like that. Um, you're seeing the actual file name. And the same thing should be true for your images or your other stuff. So use hyphens, use lowercase letters, keep the file name short, three to four descriptive words, and use the keywords to describe what that, uh, what the image is or what that file is. All right, then we dive down. So with those principles in place, and the same things are going to apply to our folder names where we want to use lowercase letters, hyphens if we need to hyphenate something, but if we don't, because we value having it be short, because um, that's going to reduce the overall length of the URL for every single file that's inside of that folder. Um, typically, it's just a single word. But 
we try and get our file managers down to a single page. And I showed you there where we just bleed onto the second page. But here is what the, uh, what the folders are. So our free stock photos, we can't move this. This is what HubSpot has and they give us a bunch of uh, photos in there that we can use for our design purposes. CTA, so this is for every call to, call to action image that we're creating in there. Email is going to control command all of our email assets. Identity, this is kind of our brand identity resources, so logos and fonts, um, special icons, that type of thing. Images, this is the bulk of images that we're going to use, and this breaks down into a number of sub folders that we can walk through here in a moment. We've got offers, content offers. This might be a PDF, a video file, that type of thing, and they should be broken down probably into campaign name. Resources, so this might be something that's internal to your team. Um, scripts, we use this for JavaScript plugins that we're gonna use, that type of thing. Social uh, and videos. So there's a picture that Ben put together. And then here is, here's the child folders that, um, that we have put together. So how we break things down even farther. So CTA, then this is gonna be, these are all gonna be slash blog, slash email. So instead of the URL, uh, being some long unrecognizable thing, it's going to be doinbound.com slash blog slash or slash CTA slash blog and then the image uh, name itself dot JPEG or, or whatever that is. So there you can see the whole uh, file management structure that we have, what we have set up. Um, ben walks you through exactly how to organize your structure. Uh, inside of HubSpot and what it looked, what his experience was rearranging um, folders gives you some tips for how to do it, and um, and that's really what I wanted to share with you here today. Is just this is something that you can do. It's got definite benefits, um, especially if you live inside your HubSpot portal and you're in there on an every on an everyday basis. So if you're just opening up a new HubSpot, you're doing you're going through your HubSpot setup for a client right now or for yourself. Or if, uh, if that's not you, if you've been working with a client for a while and you've gotten to that point where it's painful to go find images, I would recommend taking a look at this and implementing it in there um, right away. The other thing is if you set out a good structure like this, you can, um, with the processes that are laid out here, you can give this to somebody else to do. There's enough, uh, with enough structure, you can delegate this efficiently to someone else to go in and, uh, and clean up for you. So I'd, I would recommend that you also think about how could I do I hire a VA to do this? Obviously, you have to make sure it's somebody that you trust. Um, but what's the best way to make this switch and uh, accelerate our everyday lives and gain some of the SEO and user experience benefits from having our file manager optimized? All right. Well, that's going to wrap up episode number 11 of Agency Toolbox. If you have any questions, shoot them over to me, gray at doinbound.com. Also, if you come up with a way to improve this system, I would love to hear about it and share that back with the community. All right, well, I will see you back here in episode number 12 where we talk about the best webinar solution for marketing agencies.